Okay, so a promise is a promise and I love doing videos like these. So if you have any other questions like how I set up OBS and anything else really, just leave it down in the comments. So I have a super underrated Twitch I have a super average Twitch channel where I'm streaming using the tech shown here. If you want to check out how that looks, test out some stuff with me and, you know, want to vibe with me, follow me on twitch.tv slash jellyquintv. I'm live every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. Central European time with the occasional Saturday thrown in for good measure, for balance. The reason this video exists is simple. If you have good internet and a somewhat decent laptop, there's no excuse for you to not start streaming right now. And yes, I mean right now. I spent around four hours streaming to an audience with nothing more than a seven-year-old HP Elite book, a keyboard, a mouse, and the secret to all of this, GeForce Now. I know, I know, this isn't the first time I'm literally advertising NVIDIA's service. Obviously, this applies to all you Shadow PC and Google Stadia users as well. But with GeForce Now being my go-to out of several reasons, like price and regional availability, I'll be sticking with that product. You can literally say Stadia or Shadow out loud whenever I say GeForce Now though. Make a reaction video out of it, I don't care. So the setup is simple. First, you need a table. For those of you that didn't see my Valorant video a week back, the device I was streaming on was my trusty HP EliteBook A10G1. I threw it on a cooling pad, inserted a keyboard and mouse to the only two USB ports on it, connected it via Ethernet, and plugged in the power supply. Setup half done. As for the other half, I recently switched over to OBS Studio with the Stream Elements plugin because it's somewhat easier on both my low budget rigs. Even though running the GeForce Now client isn't all that CPU intensive, I try to minimize the impact of live encoding my setup by limiting myself to CPR encoding at 2500 kilobits per second and setting my CPU usage preset to super fast. I probably would have put less strain on my CPU by using the ultra fast CPU usage preset, however, you still want your stream to look decent. If you're dropping frames due to encoding lag, just switch to ultra fast. As for my video settings, I went all in. If by all in you mean the max resolution my built in screen provides. 1366 by 768, baby. Being capped at 1366 by 768 isn't all that bad though, since you're still delivering a tiny bit sharper 720p stream, which is completely fine and even at some point recommended by Twitch staff when not a partner. Set your frame rate to 30 FPS because 60 FPS is hard and you're 90% done. The only thing that's left is to set up your overlays. So either go crazy there with your custom setup or use something pre-built from the Stream Elements or Streamlabs store. That's when I hit start streaming and guys, it worked shockingly well. Since I'm gaming using GeForce Now, it doesn't matter which game I open up from my library. The CPU and GPU usage remains the same since it's always doing one thing, streaming a video. You're streaming a stream. But the main question still stands, why did I do this? <laughs> well, as someone who wants to create content on YouTube or Twitch, and has mediocre hardware to do so, I find myself enjoying and leveraging cloud gaming more than I expected. Sure, GeForce Now has its downsides, with publishers pulling out while Shadow and Stadia just aren't viable in my region, but the point still stands, it's a powerful tool in the hands of someone aching to join the content creation world. Just download and set up OBS and start recording or streaming your gaming content. Speaking of OBS, if you want me to do an explain like I'm 5 on how to set it up, just let me know in the comments. And I believe that was it. Sub like if you like it. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen.